हेलो वेलकम डॉक्टर सुषमा सिंह देसाई टुडे वी स्टार्ट ब्लॉक सिक्स परस्पेक्टिव ऑन सोशोलॉजी ऑफ रिलीजन यूनिट ट्वेंटी वन रिलीजन एंड पॉलिटिक्स इन दिस यूनिट द टर्म रिलीजन इज बीइंग यूज्ड इन द वेबेरियन सेंस इट इज एम्फेसिज दैट सेक्रेड नोशंस have always made their presence felt in the domain of the secular thus seen religion is viewed as a form of orientation to the secular world in the sense that it is a source of knowledge values and norms of a society religion thus viewed is an ideology a system of thought located in the domain of the sacred though pertaining to the other world and often associated with the internal and the spiritual domain of the individual and the collectivity it has to do with the individuals and collectivities existing in this world in that it offers a way to negotiate life the definition of politics is not as complex as that of religion it is generally accepted that politics is a set of activities deeply entrenched in this world the secular world these activities are those which are geared towards the attainment acquisition maintenance and consolidation of power political activities also include those which use symbols and metaphors of the sacred domain to determine and gain ends that are not religious these are directed towards creating distinct spaces for communities implicit in which is a definite striving to attain power In this unit we will learn about the relation between religion and politics in society. We begin by explaining the meaning of religion and politics before trying to understand their relationship. Now let us move to the point understanding religion and politics. Religion and politics are inseparable. they have always been intervened in a complex way according to romila thapar the relationship between religion and politics had complex dimension in the past and cannot be explained away by a simple mono casual explanation that reduces everything to a minimalist religious motivation Religion is a private matter so long as it remains within the thoughts of a person when these thoughts are expressed publicly and inspire public actions such as building monuments for worship and organizing fellow believers into carrying out political and social functions then religion ceases to be an exclusively personal matter it is no longer a matter of faith since its formulation as an organization of the believers has a bearing on the functioning of the society its religious identity incorporates these functions that are expressed through its institutions such as monasteries mathas temples mosque khangas churches and sangasis gurdwaras their role has to be assessed not merely in terms of the religion with which they are associated but also in the context of their functions as institutions of society how do we understand religion religion is understood in different ways by different peoples philosopher theologist and sociologist have different perspectives on religion however sociologists 
have understood religion as primarily a social phenomena. Every society has religious beliefs, rites and organization. Religion very often influences our understanding of everyday life. In many societies, religion affects the way we relate to each other. Our religious beliefs often guide our social interaction. Religion can be a unifying factor in some societies. However, in some societies, it can be a matter of conflict. Religion broadly refers to experiences of human beings as a collectivity in all parts of the world. Relationships between human beings probably in all walks of life and to all facts of everyday human life, for example, education, politics, economy, etc. Therefore, it is very clear that religion is a social phenomena. It is related with politics, as mentioned earlier, in an inextricable manner. Since it is a social phenomena and part of the culture of society which we inherit, often we grow up being socialized into the religious beliefs, values and practices of our parents. It is another thing that after maturity we may reject this religion and take up another or simply not be part of any religion. Religion as a phenomena is very difficult to define. But central to the notion of religion is the idea of the sacred as opposed to the secular, as the profane. It is a particular class of phenomena, a kind of knowledge, a varied form of activities in space and time and a typology of roles and persons. We shall now explore the relationship between religion and politics in four sections. The first section provides an overview of the various sociological and anthropological approaches to religion and locates the perception of religion in this framework. The second sec section deals with the relationship between the religion and politics in India historically. The third section describes the manifestations of this relationship in contemporary India in the form of communalism, rise of secularism and fundamentalism, religious nationalism and the fourth section forms the conclusion. Here we want to close this lecture. Thanks for listening.